Hi and welcome to 36 L Wild Streets. My name's Julian. I'm the son of Pamela and Graham who own this house. Uh, it's like our family home. <clears throat> they go off to France for the summer, so it's available for people to come and visit. So we hope you enjoy your stay. We're actually serviced, we're serving this with a company called Mules, a company that my friend and I run. Um, it's for car, car valeting and also house cleaning. So we come in and do most of the work for my parents during the summer. If you need your car valeting when you're here, and we're in the area, let us know, we can do a good job for you. This is the front of the house, I'll show you later, I'll, I'll send you a photograph as to where I'm going to hide the key. But often uh, the key is going to be hidden for you because I'm not going to physically be here on many occasions. Um, sometimes the mail comes in here, maybe if you just take it out and collect it up and put it somewhere else, show you what's up, put it somewhere safe. Otherwise, these plants need a bit of watering and I'll explain how they get watered later. If you wouldn't mind, this is a nice thing to do in the mornings, especially the wisteria at the end, but we'll get to that. This is the front door. You use this top key here only. You don't need to use the, any other keys. There is one anymore. Just this key here. There's a doorbell here and it's on a ring system. So obviously we can hear from that ourselves as well. Coming through to the front of the house, this is the entrance hall. And this is where the story begins. Okay, so we are in the kitchen. I thought I'd go through room by room because it's kind of easier. Just to start off with, on this side over here, you've got all your uh, basics, your kettles and cups. You've got coffee cups in here, mugs, cafetiers, teapots. There is some coffee in here. There is some tea in there. There's a small teapot there for you. And it's just, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the... Here's your silverware for your knives and forks. Just some, obviously it's like any normal kitchen, just all your bits and pieces that you might need. I think your iron is in here and the ironing board is in your pantry. Underneath here is a, uh, a dishwasher, you just whack it on, turn it on, hit start. It tells you the time underneath there. This is your food bin, so all food must go in here, no exception please. And I'll show you where to throw that as that gets full. There are bags down here and there are these smaller bags. There are some big ones back here, but we bought the wrong ones. So the five litre bags are to replace those bags there. Underneath here, you've got yourself a little waste bin. Now that comes out, you have it full. And there are more bags in there that we'll replace. And you just replace that one. And that too gets thrown out into the, later on I'll show you in the courtyard. This is a little coffee machine. Now my dad tells me that the plastic thing at the back here leaks. So I would just fill it up as you go along. So if you want some coffee, it's an espresso machine. Fill that up and once you're done, empty that or use it all up. There's a few coffee things here. This is an egg, a uh, boiled egg maker, it's quite fun. You look at the lines on here, you fill up with water, you pour that into the bottom here, you put your eggs, one, two, three, four, five, six, pop it there, hit the button, and then you've got yourself some boiled eggs. This is the only hob. This looks like it should be a cooker a slash hob, but this is not. This is actually just for hot water. We don't use it for cooking anymore, just for a feature really. Um, but you cook on these hobs here, and this is your oven down here. Underneath here, you've got your kind of a sliding thing for frying pans, lids, and pots. So that's pretty easy. If you want to do any cooking in the actual physical oven, there's a drawer here, and there's things down there. Um, all your glasses are up here. Be careful of this jug. This jug is very important to us. It's very old. Well, it's not old, but it's just one we only treasure and look after. So look after that jug. Otherwise, glasses and things are in there. There is a Sonos. I'll show you the internet later. It might be connected. You'll have to fiddle with that, but I wouldn't write too much. There's another set of drawers under here for bowls and weighing scales and anything you might need. This TV is powered by this remote, and apparently occasionally it goes a bit funny. So if it goes a bit funny, you turn it off at the wall, and then you have to turn it on using a little toggly button back here. But I've never experienced that, so it should be okay. I bought that TV, and apparently... Oh, I bought this TV on behalf of my parents, and um, whether it works or not, it should be fine. But basically you can swing this around, just a bit careful, and put it there, and then you can watch it whilst you're having dinner. It's quite nice. And then obviously that goes back again when you're, not, when you're not using it, if you don't want. Okay, this is the dining room, it's pretty easy. You all take the place here, 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 and here. Yes, that's how you eat. You eat around here, it's all very fun. This is actually an, a kind of an old dog sofa. It's actually a roche Bois sofa, but it's all been used for dogs. It's quite nice just to lounge about. We will reupholster it at some stage, but there's a rug over it. So don't, don't be too offended by that. It's just one of our old dog sofas. 
Otherwise, yeah, that's pretty easy for this room. See you upstairs. Okay, so if you just come through here, here's your fridge, pretty easy in there, use that there, and that's your freezer. This is a little hoover, it's not very good, it runs out of battery, I think we should complain to Dyson, but whatever. There's just some cupboards here with stuff in it. There's an ironing board through here. <clears throat> now this is sort of a man's bathroom, this is my dad's bathroom. You know, if you come in, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, and there's a little loo, it's Errol Flynn on the wall, just in case that's what my dad, Errol Flynn's here. Yeah, so you can look in the mirror and then look over it. You can pretend you're Errol Flynn, it's all very nice. And then there's a little bathroom, and actually quite nice in here, you can learn all your kings and queens as you go to the loo. So it's quite fun. Uh, then, then now we're going back up here and we're going back up to the first floor. So now we're on the first floor. This is the sitting room. Yes, it's just kind of nice to sit around. You're kind of first floor, you can look out the view, and you've got a TV, yada yada yada, it's all very simple, and you can have a nice time. The TV can be used pretty much mostly just by pressing TV to turn the TV on, and then you press sky, so you get the sky box going, yada yada. Um, there is a code that's on there if you want to like record, but I don't think you're gonna want to do that, so we'll worry about that. Um, Nothing much else in here. Then came back out. You've got your main bathroom here. It's pretty self-explanatory again. Now, this radiator will be on occasionally, even in summer. It's like an exhaust radiator. So the hot water system is controlled by that arga downstairs. And this just radiates excess heat if it's needed. So don't worry if that's on. It won't be on in any of the house. Um, it's kind of a ladies' bathroom, this one. It's like my mum's bathroom. Look, I have only a limited number of towels, so I should leave your towels out. Please don't use any of the towels in these cupboards because these are for the next guests. If I have them all used, in fact, I haven't got enough. So if you don't have to use all the towels, that's even better. Any towels you don't use, just kind of leave to one side. Otherwise, thank you very much. You could even, as a favour, put them on as a wash in the morning and then hang them up on the line, which I'll show you later if you wanted to, just for my benefit. Um, if, you, if it's raining outside, there's a hanger in here. You can hang things. Perfect, I think there's much else. If you need a medical kit in an emergency, there's a medical kit in there, a green one. If you have any cups or whatever, people falling over, praising themselves. Thank you very much. So this is the uh, first, second floor bedroom. So there's one single room here, uh, bed here, and then you've got a wardrobe, which is kind of your, I would use this as the main wardrobe for everybody really, but you can figure it out. So that's a wardrobe. There are a few drawers. A few of our drawers are still occupied by ourselves, but you can understand it's our family home. Coming through here is the main master bedroom. Now this is a Georgian house, so everything's kind of dinky, yeah? So I wouldn't worry too much about size. You're not gonna get like grand rooms. Obviously you can open the windows like that, sash windows. It's all very self-explanatory. Now we've cleared out this uh, wardrobe for people, yeah? So that wardrobe is clear, as are numerous drawers, but you can figure it out. That wardrobe is kind of still occupied, so I wouldn't worry too much about that one. This is the kind of office, like we use as our office, you might use it, we don't want it as a bedroom anymore, don't need, don't need it. So if you want to just kind of use an office, there is a play, an old PlayStation in the corner if kids want to play that, but otherwise, yeah, you can come up here and do a bit of tinkering. And actually from here you can see the back of the garden, which is quite nice to look out of if you're doing some work. Okay, see you in the next so now you're at the ground floor coming in from the front of the house again. So down here you've got the washing machine. Literally just use it as the one cycle. It's already set on 40 degrees. Pop um, some liquid in there. You try and use one of these lime scale things in each of the washes. My mum likes that in case it doesn't want to fill up the washing machine. Pop it in there, whack that closed, hit start, off you go. Um, then you come out here and this is where the courtyard is. You can hang all your jackets and things here, it's quite nice. This is where you can get some water. There's a watering can here for the watering the things out the front. So here there's like a, a system by which it's got two, one, and one plus two or stop. So this is one. So if you wanted to put water in here, you put one to the top where there's an arrow, turn that on, and with any luck, water goes in there, right? And then if you wanted to water the garden, which actually we might ask you to do, it's very hot, you would then put it on to two. So you'd then spin that round and then it'll send water up that way. You have to two. Perfect. There is another door here going back into that bathroom, but it's tends to be locked, so you need to go in there. 
Now, here are your four bins, okay? So you've got your food bin. <clears throat> you flip that up, put it in there. That's your recycle bin. That's your just regular like waste paper bin. And that's your garden bin. I don't think you've got gardening. And that's your glasses bin there. Um, I'm gonna, at the end of this, I'm gonna take you through a little schedule as to which day each of those things need to go out. You're here during the uh, bin cycle. So it would be nice if you guys took it out on your stay. So um, it'll either be black or green. Occasionally we'll ask you to take the garden out, but that's a Wednesday. So it's black is Tuesday, green is Tuesday, but they're on alternative weeks. I'll show you where the schedule is. You can have a look at which schedule is your schedule. And we'll go from there. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we're in the cottage. There's another kitchen behind you, as you can see. It's got all these kind of mod cons, like cups and saucers, and there's a fridge under here. There is a dishwasher, we never use this, so I don't know if it works, it probably does. But anyway, um, don't worry about the hot water system, it's fine. I think there's a few bits and pieces of coffee pots, yada yada, and if you need to use an oven. I mean, most of your kit cooking will probably happen in the kitchen, so I wouldn't in the other house, so don't worry about that. There's a bathroom, oh, a bathroom, it's a shower room in here, and there's a loo behind there. Um, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Skews cobwebs, I mean, spiders are pretty rampant in this part of the world, so you'll find, um, even though we're cleaning it, obviously, but spiders will kind of reappear, as will flies. You know, flies have been flying about, but I think that's just the nature of being in the country, so don't worry too much about that. Um, there is a kind of bigger, older bison in there, but I'll use that. Um, now down here is a little single bedroom. It's quite cool in here if it's a hot summer's day, so if anyone sleeps in here, it's quite cool. There's a little towel and things behind the door there for that guest, which is fine. And then last but not least, in the house situation, up these stairs, there is another double bedroom up here, normally for a couple probably, which is a little uh, sort of uh, en suite, which is just there for them. There's a wardrobe behind that door. And then if you come through here, there is another sitting room, which is kind of for like just chilling out, TV, blah, blah, blah. And come out here. You've got yourself a there's two gardens, there's a garden out there and a garden here. So now look, I put this table here because that is where the hanging line is. And underneath there there is a pole that the hanging line goes on. But I don't want people coming out here that maybe half drunk, I don't know what they are, come falling, falling on top of the pole, impaling themselves and ending up at A&E with a sort of garden pole through them, having to explain to the doctor they're on an Airbnb at the Proctor family's house. It's just not gonna look very good. So I put that table over that so no one can fall on top of it. Obviously you need to remove that table over there so they hang washing up. So that's that. This is a, um, this is a barbecue. It does actually work. It looks a little bit rough, but I think it's because we cooked on it a few times. Sausage meat's gone through. You can use that, you have to like figure out the gas cans. I'm pretty sure they've still got stuff in them, but you have to twist them, turn them on. That doesn't seem to be clicking, but yeah, you can use a light or whatever, fire those up. That's fine. Going back through to the back garden. So, I've just mown this lawn, so hopefully it'll stay nice and short, but um, it will grow up over the period of your stay when we put that come. Um, there's a little eating area back here. It's kind of sheltered from the sun by these trees. That's nice. I've moved all the apples. We're working apples in the summer, which is good. And you, know, you sit here, you have a nice day. And the last thing is, um, over here is where that hose pipe comes. <clears throat> and the hose pipe has two connections. One is for like shooting the gun. Yeah, so you could like go out and shoot each other, but also the plants might need a bit of shooting. And if you want to do the grass, you can do the grass, one of those things, just attach it, take it out there, blah, blah, blah. Ah, and that's that. See you back inside. So the keys, I'm going to take a photograph. I'm not going to do it in the video about where I'm going to hide the key, but there's going to be a photograph where I've hidden the key at the front. Now, when you come into the house, when you finally get in, you're actually going to have two sets of keys. You're going to get a complete set for the front door, the back door here, and the door for the cottage. And the same goes true for this little box here. There's going to be a front door, back door, and front door for the cottage. Um, and so you'll have two sets of keys. The last thing I should mention is there's 
three internets in this house. There's the skybox, which is, tends to be the top of this house, yes? You've then got a TP link, uh, which is in the front and the downstairs here, which is this one. And then you've got another TP link, which is up for the cottage. So you've got two TP links and one sky internet connection. You need a password for each of those. I'm going to describe those to you in the written work that I'm going to send to you as well. And therefore you can join the internet in every part of the house. Okay, have a nice day. So this is just me watering the plants, so obviously you know how to water the plants, not that difficult. But the main plant that we're most concerned with is the wisteria, which is this one. Yeah, there's a wisteria here. There used to be a wisteria there, but if you could just do your best to keep this one well watered, be very grateful. These little guys they get hot. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, as promised, the last thing is I'm going to show you the, the schedule for the rubbish. So if you come with me, my mum has written a rather nice kind of description here. So today is <clears throat> July the 20 something rather, 1st. So garden waste went out today. So the next one is then Tuesday next week. So F means food, G means green, not garden, green. Yes, so um, that's the green bin next Tuesday. And then on the next Tuesday after that, it's food. Uh, food is every week and then it's the black bin. So F and B is black. And then obviously garden waste is the Wednesday. And then the next week, Tuesday is F. You'll figure it out. But G means green, B means black, and GW means garden waste, yeah? And it goes all the way through until anyone, my parents return back in sort of October, November sometime. So that's fine. Okay, right, let's just leave you back outside to say our goodbyes. Thank you very much for coming and visiting 36 L Wall Street. Oh, the last thing is this parking down here, it's all a bit first come, first serve. Honestly, we kind of feel, we don't, we, it's all a bit controversial. No one really owns any parking spaces. Just come down. If you can get that space, great. If you can't, just park down the road. Ron and Pat, who live in here, if you just literally put your car here and rush all your things into the house, they don't mind too much. Obviously, don't leave the car in front of their garage. Um, if you want to know who the neighbours are, that's Judy and Roger. That's Betty and Paul at that house there. This is Jackie. Bill Crumble home. He does a lot of pottery. And it goes on off down the road. Yonder. Lots of nice walks. You can go out the back of the house as a gate and go up over the hill. The wishing wells in that direction. You've got various things up down there. So you walk down there. Top of the hill here, you've got a pub. I don't know if it's open, but all you've got the Royal Standard. You've got, um, that's called this old ship, and then the Royal Standard's down there. So have a lovely stay. Do stay in touch, and we'll see you soon.